Hi guys and welcome back to BOTB TV. My name is Christian Williams. And I'm Tim Oldland. And in the show today we chat all things in the headlights. We also take the MG Abingdon edition out for a spin. We add a load of new cars into our lineup. We do a throwback to a winner. We chat BOTB car news. And we also give you the chance to win 50 pounds of dream car credit. Yep. Now in case you guys hadn't noticed, spring has officially sprung. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Flowers and everything. Uh, that's right. The uh, the clocks have gone forward. Animals have come out of winter hibernation. The trees are greener. All that kind of nonsense. And it's time for us to get our pasty legs out. Yeah, I'm glad I got my sunglasses on for those luminous legs you have there, Tim. Okay. But that is right. Spring has sprung and it's perfect timing because we've just added four fantastic convertibles into the headlights this week. So let's take a look at them. But I can't see anything. So hang on. Let me take these off. <laughs> right. There we right. go. Good idea. Let's start with the bottom left, shall we? Oh yes, now this is no ordinary Audi R8. No, if it's not. If you're a bit of a driver's person. Me. Well, yes. This is, this is the R8 that I'd buy. Get, Get the sideways. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's convertible, which is wonderful, and it's rear wheel drive. 532 horsepower, so it's the lower powered engine, but it should be amazing, this thing. Let's go on to the second Audi. This yes. is a pocket rocket and a half. It is, the, yeah, this is, I mean, <clears throat> the TTRS anyway is yeah. just hugely popular anyway but this is just the same thing without a roof. Yeah, I actually drag raced Archie and his, I think it was his A45 that he had, yes. and we put it up against the TTRS, and geez, that thing is seriously quick. I've not actually been in a car before, and when it changes gear, it really does feel like it's gonna snap your yeah. neck off. It, and it makes an awesome noise. It's got yeah. that five pot warble kind of noise, yeah. which we'll be able to hear more with the uh, roof down. With the roof down, down. yeah. Uh, right, let's move to the top right, shall we? Because this uh, is- and This is one of your faves, isn't it? Yeah, this is a fantastic car. You know that I love the C63 as it is, and this is a C63 without a roof. So even better for posers like myself and yeah. people that just like to hear the V8 rumble. Exactly, yeah, uh, 503 horsepower. Same <laughs> engine as the new mad. Aston V8 Vantage. Mm. There you go. There Fact. you go. And the final one though. Yeah, last but not least is this. I was going to say it's a classic, but it's far from. This is the MG Abingdon edition. That's right. Uh, it's just amazing. We were so excited to drive this uh, and we did. So let's have a look. So after last week's BOTB TV, uh, we thought we'd try and what, bring the manly side back to the show. Yeah. So that's exactly what we've done this week. Glorious British countryside. We have been let loose today in this. Now this may look like an MGB to the casual observer. <laughs> it is far from. This is the Abingdon edition of the MG. Under the bonnet, there's, there's no old lump of iron under there. <laughs> um, oh no. No, no, this is a two and a half litre Mazda engine. It only weighs 900 kilograms. So you think, given that the original MGB GT or the, or the MGB Roadster had 125 horsepower, I think, yep. at its peak, this has got 290 horsepower. <laughs> Mr. Williams here. <laughs> oh my God, I love this thing. <laughs> you clearly can just get in and drive like a hooligan. But, you know, there's, like I said, there's no traction control. There's nothing, there's nothing stopping you. There's nothing holding you back. It's pure driving joy. That's my old school. Yeah, as you can tell, uh, we had a lot of fun in that car and I still have a smile on my face every time I think about driving it. Yeah, it was just huge fun. It was huge fun. Uh, right, now as you've seen a lot of the Geneva stuff that we did a couple of weeks ago, we thought, why not let's just add a few cars into the lineup? So that's exactly what we've done. We've added three brand new cars to the BOTB lineup. That's right, yeah. The first one we've got is the Jaguar I-Pace. Now, we had the first edition in for Geneva, but this yep. is the I-Pace HSE. Okay. So it's a little bit cheaper, still got tons of kit on it. Uh, it's absolutely amazing, and it's just £3.40 a ticket. Oh, I just love the look of it. It's amazing. Really, um, really I, good. I, I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of this thing. Yeah, it will be fantastic. Right, on to car number two then. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Renault. The, yes, the Renault, Renault Sport Megan RS. Right. Uh, so this is, I mean, it's, it's an iconic hot hatch. Uh, but the very latest version. They've kept a manual gearbox. Oh, well done, Renault. Because they 
didn't with the Clio, and it was a bit of a mistake, I think, because it was rubbish. They've learned. Um, They've learned. They have. They have. Uh, but 275 horsepower and orange, so it's it's on brand. We yeah, like this. That is true. Right onto the third one then, and we've added this. I mean, we could not add it right after we spoke to like the chief designer of the exactly. car and fell in love with it. This is the Ford Mustang Bullet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, everyone went crazy for this last week, so it's, we just had to add it in. And something that I love about this car, and you'll probably say, oh, it's a horsepower, blah, blah. It's not. Uh, it's the eight ball gear knob that they've uh, put in yeah, the, yeah, in the yeah. bullet. Lovely. It's, it's the little white ceramic gear knob on it. It's a yeah. very, very cool little feature. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't just added three new cars. We've updated some cars as well, because, you know, cars get facelifted and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to start with top right there. We've got the Audi A7. This is actually a completely new car. It looks I very love the similar. rear of it as well. I know. Uh, this is the 3 litre V6 petrol one that we've got in there. Uh, bottom right, so this is the new AMG G63. Yep. And it is completely new. Uh, you have to get your measuring tape out, don't you? Yeah, because it is slightly wider than the current one. It was always a very thin car, though. It was, it was, it was always a bit smaller than the competition. Now it's got a bit more elbow room and 577 horsepower. And 577 horsepower. And 577 horsepower. Uh, and something else that makes an angry noise, <laughs> <laughs> which we like, uh, is the facelifted Mustang. Now we put the bullet in, of course, uh, so we had to update the rest of the range as well. So we've got the facelifted V8 Mustang. Uh, it's got a new front end, it's got slightly more power and a slightly nicer interior. Well, all of this chat of Mustangs has actually just reminded me of a previous winner uh, when I surprised Jake Evans back in July 2016. I surprised him at the barracks. He was, uh, he was in the Royal Tank Regiment. So uh, let's take a look at when I surprised him. <laughs> Jake, how you doing? Yeah, well, I'm good, Christian from Video <laughs> TV. How are you? I'm even better now, man. Ford Mustang, GT. No. Five litre. Oh, I'm speechless, absolutely. Are your hands shaking? <laughs> Oh. Nice, right? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolutely crazy. Like, it's always in the back of your mind, you're just like, oh yeah, I'll just, you know. You see the guys win on the website, and you're like, oh, jam you come true, I'm gonna hug you again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what a lovely guy. I love the fact that when he gave me that big hug, he was proper shaking with excitement. Yeah, yeah, I would be too. Um, anyway, we need to crack on. Yep. So uh, on with the car news. First up, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> it, it is beautiful. It is. Beautiful. It is. Um, but once again, it's all electric. Uh, I know. This is the hypercar that's been launched by Pininfarina. Now, you, you may know Pininfarina. They designed some of the most beautiful cars in history. On my walk into work this morning, I did stumble across a Pininfarina designed car. Electric car as well. It was an electric car, yeah. And I pulled Dave back out of the office to go and have a look because this is it. It's the electric, yeah. what I can only describe as bug, yeah. Pininfarina, which looks ridiculous. And unfortunately, I don't know which work experience kid they had in it. Pininfarina that day, but he did a terrible job. Yeah, but basically it's proof that even fancy design houses need to pay the bills occasionally. This is true, yeah. <laughs> On to the next bit of news, and we need to talk Jeep. Yes, we do. Uh, these are a load of cars that have been created for the 2018 Jeep Moab Safari thing. Basically, it's a load of the engineers do this every year. It's a, la it's a lads road trip, isn't it? Let's not beat around the bush. Yeah, women are invited. Um, <laughs> and they basically just take, they raid the parts catalog, make new parts, they just create a lot of Hot Wheels cars, basically, don't they? Yeah, they do look wicked with the massively oversized wheels. I love the vintage one as well they've got. They do look cool. Right, let's go on to our fun bit of car news that we have this week. And this is amazing, actually. If you know Birmingham and you've ever driven around Birmingham, you've probably driven around Spaghetti Junction. It's huge, massive, and they're going to recreate it in Lego. Uh, the specialist toy makers, Lego, are going to create the entire thing to mark the 50th anniversary of work starting on Spaghetti Junction and it's going to be celebrated in a new attraction at Legoland Discovery Centre in Birmingham. It's on to competition time and we're giving you the chance to win £50 of Dream Car credit here with BOTB TV and we've called this the Wonky Comp. Now you may have seen that behind us here we have some <laughs> brand new branding stuck on the walls but one of the stickers is slightly on the wonk. Yes, Dave, Ben, <laughs> Vicky, one of you was a bit... <clears throat> have you had a few... Yeah, we know yeah. what they're like. So if you can tell us which sticker is on the wonk, your chance to win £50 in Dream Car credit. Just comment in the section below, let us know which sticker it is, and you never know, we'll pick one at random out of the right answers, and you could be crediting your account with 50 quid. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. And that's pretty much it then. It is, we're done. Yeah. We are done. So uh, thanks again for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the BOTB YouTube channel, and we'll of course see you again next week. Cheers. That's all, folks.